Hello, WinCrafts fans. Today I'd like to show you how to write and run a script for a very simple strategy proposed by Greg over at 555 Craps. He calls it the don't pass taking advantage of the roll count. Here I'd like to call it uh, the don't pass roll count odds press. Uh, basically playing at a five times odds table, he starts with a $25 don't pass bet and then lays $60 odds. Now since the average length of a craps hand is approximately 8.53 rolls, he starts a count. And if he gets to seven rolls without a seven, then he presses the odds up to 150. Um, basically that's it. So let's open the auto bet screen. I've written down a few of these things here already. And let's see if we can't start writing some code. Why don't we just start with the basic bets? They're pretty simple. So what we're gonna say is uh, if the come out roll, then we're going to bet 25 on don't pass. Okay. Then we can say if not on the come out roll, well actually why don't we instead just combine these? We'll just say else. Because if it's come out roll, it's going to be up here. And if it's not on the come out roll, it'll be when a point is established, so it'll be down here. So we'll just say else. Else we're going to lay odds. And I'll for right now I'll just leave that as a comment. We'll fill that in in a moment. Okay? So that starts out our basic structure here. Now we're going to have to have something that does our count for us. Um, why don't we set up check stack number one? And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say any time of seven rolls, so if dice total equals seven, then we're going to set check stack one and we're going to call it, I'll just give it a name, count. We're going to set that equal to zero. If we don't roll a seven, we want to increment this check stack counter or um, roll counter. So we're just going to say else, if I can spell here, we're else or we're going to add one to check stack one count. Okay, let's check the script. Looks good. Okay, now when you first initialize the game, it's going to do a um, initialization on the Autobet script, so there's not going to be any rolls on the table yet. So what's going to happen is a dice roll won't be at seven. It'll just start adding one to the count. Well, we don't want that. So we're going to add one little thing here so that our count doesn't actually start until there's actually rolls on the table. So we're going to say if dice total equals seven or number of rolls equals zero, then check stack count is going to be zero. So that kind of gets us going. Then each time a roll occurs and it's not a seven, the counter is going to increment. So now let's take this uh, check stack that we came up with and let's uh, put that down in here into our odds uh, where we're making our odds bet. So we're gonna, we want to say, uh, we're gonna increase the odds after seven rolls have gone by. So if the count is seven or greater, then we're gonna increase it. So uh, why don't we just say if check stack one is, um, how about we'll say, uh, greater than or equal to seven. Let me back up here. Then we're going to bet $150 on don't pass odds. Otherwise, we're going to just bet the basic $60. Bet $60 on don't pass odds. And if, all right, let's check the script. Okay, now we could have reversed these around and come up with something different. We could have said, if the count is less than seven, bet $60 on don't pass, else bet 150. I mean, we could have worded this in a number of different ways, but I think this will get the job done. Let's get rid of this little comment here now. So now we have a counter and we have something that makes the bets for us. Uh, one little thing that we probably want to clean up here, you know that when, um, whenever a bet wins or loses, the autoplay screen is going to act on anything it has set there. So we can either, we either have to go to the autoplay screen and make sure it's set to what we want, or we can just set that here in the script. So we can say if, 
initializing script, and I'll just pull it up from down here. Then we're going to set auto handle winning bets are going to be equal to take bet and winnings. We'll just take let the auto play screen pull the bet down and then the script here is going to make the proper bets. All right. Let's do a little check of the script here. Looks good. All right. Why don't we give that a little try and just take a look to see what happens here. We start a new game. Clear out any previous data that we happen to have sitting there. Uh, let's open the bankroll screen and we'll take a look at that. I'll start the hyperdrive off here fairly slow. Okay, it looks like it's on a losing trend net right now. Not doing too good. Uh, maybe if it's going to recover a little bit. And we speed it up a little bit. And by the way, right now, as you can see, I have it on a moving average. It's a 120 roll moving average. Anytime it's below the moving average, it's in red. And anytime it's above the moving average, it's appearing in blue. All right, so it bottomed out there, hit zero. So it's just going to continue there. We either have to stop and restart a new game, or we're going to have to uh, make some adjustment to our autobet file so it does it for us. So why don't we do that? Let's open up the autobet file. And uh, how about if we say uh, if our bankroll is less than the minimum bet, then we're going to start a new session. Now, how about we put a win goal in there too? I believe in the video, Greg is talking about a uh, $200 win goal based on a $2,000 bankroll. So why don't we set here, um, or bankroll is greater than beginning bankroll plus 200. So we have uh, the bottom uh, win uh, loss uh, and the uh, win goal, 200. Let's do a little check on that. That looks good. And let's think about anything else here. I think that should be it for the moment. Let's close that again and let's just start anew. All right, let's go back, open up the bankroll screen and we'll start again. All right, I don't know if you notice what's happening there. Let's uh, pause it here for a moment. So I already saw it, the rolls started increasing, and then they just stopped, it, it cleared out, and then they started over again. So during that time, uh, it either hit a uh, stop loss or a win goal. And once it did that, it started a new session. And that's why it cleared out all the rolls and started over. So the longer the session goes, of course, we'll see it proceed across the screen. But this looks like the, it's doing fairly short sessions. So let's press on and watch it just a bit here. Okay, it looks like we're going to hit a wind goal there. Another one, another one, another one. So we might hit a stop loss here. Yep. Okay, so let's stop it right now. Well, actually, let's speed it up here and let it go through a few more sessions. It looks like it's going about four or five hundred rolls on a number of these, but there's uh, quite a few of them that are only making it to like uh, maybe 80, 100 rolls. So let's stop that. Let's go to the sessions log and see what it's come up with so far. So, so far it's run 75 sessions. There were 62 winning sessions for a win rate of 82.67%. 13 losing sessions for a loss rate of 17.33%. The rolls looks like the average game was our average session was 253.64 rolls. Uh, the shortest one was nine rolls, and the longest one was 1,999 rolls. And when we look at the net amount won or lost, we can see here's the two things we set up. Uh, <clears throat> the loss limit here was a minus $2,000 bankroll, and the win goal. Uh, was $200. Now, it's, it's not going to hit this exactly based upon the bets 
or depending upon the bets that you have made. In this case, uh, we're varying the odds. So it could be $60 odds, it could be $150 odds. So uh, you're going to end up going beyond um, your $200 uh, win goal you said there. Uh, so it just kind of depends. This is where it's falling right now. It looks like it's falling from, uh, let me get this on here exactly. It looks like right around 186 for some reason. Maybe it's just off a little bit. It's probably closer to 200. Yeah, it looks like it's right at 200, somewhere right in here. 200 all the way up to 315. So those are our two outcomes. And um, not too bad. If we look at the data, um, well, actually, I, I take that back. It's not as good as I would have expected. The advantage is right now minus 2.4154. The advantage is, of course, the average uh, percentage lost per dollar wagered. And when we're taking a don't pass bet and we're laying uh, up to five times odds, uh, we really should expect advantage to be sitting around oh, 0 0.3, 0 0.4%, something like that. So possibly uh, our win goal it might be interfering with that. Let's just try and run a few more sessions and see. I'm going to close that screen there. This time I won't open the bankroll screen. I'll just run a few more here with the hyperdrive. It'll get it done a little bit quicker. All right, let's stop that now and see how many sessions we got. We're up to 256. Looks like the uh, advantage is coming down a little bit now. It's down to minus 1.91%. So that seems to be improving a little bit. Now I went through a little bit earlier and actually ran some of these sessions. And uh, why don't we take a look at that? Around 5,000 sessions. We had a win rate of 88.1%, which is pretty good, and a loss rate of 11.9%. Now you can see uh, with uh, additional data in here, it actually really is pretty good. We're looking right now at about minus 0.5%. So they're actually a pretty good system. It's using some uh, good low EV bets. All right, back to the auto bet, uh, bet screen. Uh, some other things you could do in here if you wanted. You could use another check stack to count the number of sessions if you wanted to have a specific number of sessions to roll. For instance, you could say, um, let's use check stack two. So we can say, uh, every time a new session is called up, we're going to add one to check stack two, and we'll ca just call that sessions. And we want to, of course, preserve uh, the check stacks so that the, we can preserve the value of those sessions. Then we're going to have a little uh, line we're going to set up here. We're going to just say if check stack two sessions uh, is equal to, let's just use the same number that I used, 5,000, then we're going to stop auto rolling and hyperdrive. So we can just pull that up here instead of typing the whole thing. And that's that. So now we will count the sessions and stop at 5,000. All right. Uh, that's to show you how to do that. Now, let's see some other options, things we can think about. Of course, you could come in here and you could change uh, the base bet to something else. You could change the odds amount to different amounts. You could change the count to something else. Maybe you want a lower count or a higher count. Now here's another thing to think about. How about if we used multiple counts? What if we came in here and said, uh, let's say, if check stack one count, uh, how that happen? if check stack one count is less than three, then we'll make the basic $60 odds bet. So let me move that up there. And then we'll say else if check stack one count is less than let's say five then we're going to let's say we're going to bet oh how about we add 30 bucks there we're going to bet 90 dollars on don't pass odds and then we can say else if check stack one count is less than seven then let's bet 120 and finally how about if we say let me just copy one of these here. We're going to say else if count is less than nine, 
then how about we bet uh, 150 all right it's kind of all a mess right now so let me check it have everything straighten out here let's see what did i do here if, else if check stack one is less than seven else if i did something wrong oh else that's got to go else if out of position if then else if oh i forgot my thens okay then else if and i forgot then there also okay that should look good now let's check it all right looks good okay so now i think you can see the structure a little bit better so what we're using is a sliding count here if the count is low we're going to bet a small amount of odds the higher the count gets the more odds we're going to bet make sense let's check that baby out and see how it works start a new session clear out all the previous data and let's start the hyperdrive. Yeah, just give it a few moments here. All right, let's see how many sessions we got. Got 129 here. And uh, wow, it looks like we got a higher win rate right now. All right, we've got 116 winning sessions. That's 89.92% win rate. 13 losing sessions at a 10.08% win rate. Let's look at the rolls. Average of 264 rolls per game. Uh, the most uh, games looks like they had around nine rolls. And uh, the highest one had 1,676 rolls. Ah, this is very interesting. At the low number of sessions we have right here, we actually are positive. So far, and this is the advantage of using the line bets with odds, is they have such a low house advantage that um, it's very easy to go into the uh, positive range and win some money here. So right now we're looking at an average of win of $18.33 per session. Now if we look at over here, we can see all these wins, an occasional $2,000 loss. Anyway, 89, almost 90% of the time, we're winning about 260 bucks, it looks like, and 10% uh, of the time we're losing 2,000. So that ends up with a, a positive 0.28% advantage. Now, as you know, of course, if we increase the uh, number of sessions, that's going to eventually uh, go negative due to the house advantage. We'll just run a few more here and check it out. Okay, now we're up to 324 sessions. As you can see now, the average session has lost $26. We're looking at an advantage of uh, minus 0.4%. And the win rate has dropped just a little bit. It's still pretty good, 87.96%. Uh, anyway, that's how that uh, system works. That's how you write the auto edit file. And as I mentioned, those are some of the things that you could change, the, the bankroll. Um, and actually, you know what? You could put the bankroll up in here. You can either set it on the configuration screen, or if you want to just put it in the script so you can... Um, uh, change it very easily whenever you work in the script. You just put it in here. You can just say uh, beginning bankroll or actually when it's on the initialization, really you can just say bankroll. So if, you can say bankroll equals 2000, for example. Uh, just put it right in there. Uh, you can change the roll count, you can change the amount of the odds, change the sliding scale, change the win goals. Have fun with all those numbers and uh, see what it does for you. So I hope you got something out of that. Thanks for looking at WinCrafts. Bye.